Hey guys, this is Sunsoft, <laughs> and I'm Hudson Soft, and this is Bomberman 93. This is the soup of the games. Welcome. Today we're playing a game called Bomberman 93, which is the 93rd game in the Bomberman series. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, uh, you know the, the first two 90, 92 Bomberman games were classics. All right, let's check out normal game. Yeah. We could do battle, but they're all the same. All the Bomberman games are pretty much yeah. the same in the, the versus modes. I think you know what to expect. But Bomberman 64, I remember that had a, a unique, interesting single-player mode, which I, I liked, sort of. And Bomberman Hero was really fun. That was yeah. one of my more favorite games for the N64. One of my more favorite -er. Push run button to go to the quarry. Oh, well, we can't go anywhere else, so I guess we're going to the quarry. I guess. Is there a story behind that? Oh, it's an RPG. Wow, Bomberman got, <laughs> Bomberman got fat in 93. Yeah, I, I know, right? Just, just for one year. Meet Digger. <laughs> All right. Watch out for his fireballs after he warps. He's wearing a traffic cone on his head. It's a classic Bomberman music there. Is it? Yeah. Wait. Oh, there we go. Hey, he he looks like he's he's thick, thick, hmm. thick. What is this? Up. I don't know. What is it? I don't know. Let's blow it up. <laughs> Let's blow it up. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh uh, wow. <laughs> It just spawns enemies. So Hudson Soft has been paying us a lot of money. Yeah, but that ends now. You turned on. Yeah, yeah. There you go. We should rebind that key to something else so it doesn't happen again. It's not fixed. There you go. Oh, it's fixed. You have to end. See in the bottom left corner, you can see <laughs> two button mode or six button mode. You have to end on two button mode. Right. Uh, but this ends now. Hudson Soft, you paid us billions. That's not enough. I want quadrillions. So yeah, instead, I basically want the entire M1 money supply. Right. So instead, what we did was we made a deal with Skittles. Right? Yes, we did. Remember that? I hope you remember, because yeah, it was today, yesterday. Today's episode is sponsored by Skittles, and by that... Okay, that was really pathetic. Brought to you by... I am better at Bomberman than this. I thought you were going to say... I'm also very nervous. I thought you were going to say, I'm better at Bomberman than you. Like, just completely <laughs> yeah, out of nowhere. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, I am better at Bomber. I'm better at Bomberman <laughs> like, than everyone who's watching. Like, as a way to justify your, lo your you know, dying. <laughs> oh, Ed. This is really simple Bomberman stuff. I've beaten several Bomberman games, and I'm pretty good at the multiplayer of Bomberman games. Is this single player mode just. It's the same thing as multiplayer, just with computer control? Yeah, enemies? just with very easy enemies to beat. Yeah. They just kind of pace, usually. Yeah, they're not really trying to get away from that bomb. No. I mean, it's Bomberman. I like Mega Bomberman for Sega Genesis. It's one of my more favorite Bomberman games. I really like that Bomberman remake they made for the Xbox. <laughs> no, I don't. Bomber Box? <laughs> no, I don't. I, I also like Boxy Boy. Boxy? Well, yeah, remember, as we said in the last episode of this, or two episodes ago, that's that's your favorite game on the system, is Boxy Boy. Yeah. I'm a huge Boxy Boy fan. Of course. And they've played the sequels. I like boxes, and I like boys, so... Yeah. For more on boxes, check out our... <laughs> I that went over my head. You like boys? I was gonna say for more on boxes, check out our uh, our wild game of uh, Forward to the Sky, which should be up on the yeah, channel. You can watch us clip through a box over and over yeah. again. I mean, not only do I love boxes, but I love clipping through them in real life. So, oh, that's the exit. If you blow that up, though, before you get to the exit, it spawns a bunch of enemies that kill you. Why? It's, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. In my opinion, it makes sense. So, I wouldn't question it. Bomberman. The music's really Chinese, wouldn't you say? Chinese, yeah. I, w I would say Chinese. No, actually, I was thinking about more like Thailand-type music. Oh. I think it's Thai music. Do you, do you think? Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see Sagat anywhere, so I don't think that Sagat. it's, it's Thailand-type music. Because he has, to, he has to be everywhere there is Thailand music. Yeah. Thai music. Yeah, that's that's probably true though. Bob Sagat. How many times has that joke been made? Zero? Am I the first person to have made that no, joke? Well, I I read it in the Mad Magazine when I was a, when I was a kid. Bob Sagat? Really? Yeah. I'm surprised they would. That, that's kind of niche, you know. I guess Street Fighter was big, but still. Mad Magazine usually covers bigger stuff like big movie releases. Yeah, like the Street Fighter movie. Like the Street Fighter movie, yeah. yeah that's you, what they were covering. Have you seen that? Yeah. I've actually never seen it. It's not good. No. It's Raul Julia's final role before his death. I don't know who that is. Uh, Gomez from the Addams Family. <gasps> he, played he, him, he played him bison in the Street Fighter movie. He died? Yeah, he died, like, in the 90s. What happened to him? I don't know. Well, maybe he got in a car accident. 
<laughs> Wait, are you kidding? He's actually dead? Yeah, he's been dead. Since, Gomez? Yeah, Gomez. Have you heard from him since? Have you heard from him since his Gomezing days? <laughs> well, of course not. But that's because they haven't made any more films. Yes, yeah, because he perished. That's why. Why did you know his name also? Raul Julia. Did you have something to do with his death? Mm, I slashed his tires and cut his brake lines. That would do it. And I also shot him with a bullet. <laughs> with a bullet. There was no gun involved. It was just a bullet. No, that's... Okay, I'm really sad now. Because every time I played the Adam's Family... What, because you learned that your best friend, Joe, from Game Soup is a murderer? He's a murderer, that's why, yeah. No, I'm actually not that upset about that. I'm more upset at the fact that this guy is dead. Oh. And you can tell. You can tell because I'm crying. Hey, did you hear about the, uh, the Supreme Court Justice that died? No, why would I care about that? It's a big deal. Oh. It's a what big... What is the Supreme Court Justice, anyway? They are... They're one of the people on the Supreme Court, where... Hmm. Where... That have the final say in anything that makes it to the Supreme Court, right? In America? Hmm. Really? Like, for example, gay marriage went to the Supreme Court. So they're kind of... They're kind of big, man. Oh, cool. You, you... Come on, you know who the Supreme Court is. Well, I've heard of the Supreme Court, yeah, but I didn't know... What was the thing he said? It's because they're supremely awesome. The su you said something supreme something? The guy that died? Yeah, one of the guys died suddenly. Hmm. Oh, cool, we got more speed here. It's oh, not good. that much more speed, though. No, it's really not. Hey, we should probably move on to another game soon. I want to I want to see what happens. I want to see if there's a boss after this level. What if? It'd be pretty neat. It'd be pretty neat. So, what's your favorite Bomberman game? Put it in the comments. Yeah, really. And if it's the one for Xbox, was it, was it 360 or Xbox? The, the original Xbox? I can't remember. I just remember seeing it in screenshots and it looked ridiculous. Yeah. What's your favorite Bomberman game, Ed? Um, well, I actually haven't played that many of them. I've played Bomberman 64 and Bomberman Hero. And I'm watching you play this one now. I like Bomberman 64. I know it's not the greatest game, but I like the levels. This must be the exit. And the music. There's only one, one yeah, purple really. rock left in. Whoa! Wow. It spawned the enemies this time. How did that happen? The wow. music in that game was good. kill these enemies. And it brings me back to a time, a, a, a better time, you know? A more innocent yeah. time when I was a child. And I used to rent that game from a Blockbuster Video. Bomberman 64? Yeah, back when the N64 had, had launched not so long ago. Oh, motherfuck. After all that. Wait, do you have to do it all again? Nah. Yeah. Look, look at what Bomberman's saying. <laughs> Did you see the password? He's just spitting everywhere yeah. as he says that. Now do it all again. Should we do it all again? Yes. Here we go with another pinball game called <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Deep Blue. No, it's by 1989 Pac in Video. Did oh. you see the name of the company? Yeah, I did. Okay, oh. so it's a really uh... it's an underwater shmup. It's an underwater shmup. I'm a fish. Yeah, with uh, with projectiles. Graphics that are way too big for a shmup. Yeah, really. Whoa. And we are indeed underwater. Yeah, this is no good. This reminds me that I need to lower the size of the sprites in my game. Yeah, these these sprites are pretty big. Maybe it's just, it looks like it's zoomed in a lot, though. Maybe that's it. And it, Yeah, it is zoomed in a lot, which is not good for this type of game. Right, you really need to have a, a lot What of... are these things? Well, they're evil fish. They're they look, plankton. They look like trout. Well, I've had enough plankton. Well, this is Kiki Kai Kai. Kiki Kai Kai. Another one of my favorite games by Taito. So oh, this is... Oh. You know what this is? I th it looks like Pocky and Rocky, but it also, she just looks like a Shrine Maiden type of character. Oh. So yeah, maybe yeah. it's not Pocky and Rocky, because I don't see Rocky Well, anywhere. I was just going to say, I don't see Rocky, so I think you're a liar. Yeah, and this it, must just be another game where you and play... a thief. Yeah, you know, you're just playing as like a Shrine Maiden type of girl. It looks really fun, though. It, it, looks, it looks like Pocky and Rocky, it, though. Like, the gameplay is very similar. Is it, uh, is Kiki Kai Kai Japanese for Pocky and Rocky? <laughs> Yeah. Whoa, whoa, get this guy out of here. Yeah. So you just mash the A button, it turns out, but it's actually really fun. It's, uh, secretly, it's a shmup. But it's a shmup that you have, you know, it feels like you're walking. There we go. Oh my god, you can hear that controller through the mic, can't you? If you can hear that controller through the you mic... You can hear the controller through the mic on every game we've played. Oh yeah, That's why we need to get better microphones. Yeah. Which oh is, my god. Which leads me to our new campaign. It's called, Three Dollars Is Not Money. Anybody out there who has three dollars... Check out the description below, and you can see a link to our PayPal account, and also a Bitcoin address, if you're into that. If you're into that sort of thing, which is crazy and weird fetish. You're not going to miss $3. Nobody's going to miss $3. No. So if you want to help us to get another microphone and two mic arms, 
to increase our audio quality and probably eliminate all the button mashing that you hear while we're playing all of our LPs. I'm sorry for that, by then, the way. Then you'll be able oh. to you'll be able to do that. You'll be able to give us three dollars. Yeah, because and, we'll be, and if yeah. uh, if like fifty of you give us give us three dollars, that'll be close <laughs> enough. That's I'll, yeah, throw, I'll put the last fifty bucks in, and sure. we'll have enough to get it. That'll be enough for a mic, some mic stands, stuff we we desperately need. Game over. Wow, that was fast. I want to try. All right, yeah, you give it. It's actually really fun. You try it. Oh, how do you? Oh, you actually have to hit it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. I said yes. Come on. What? Oh, you oh, have you to, to highlight it and then press start. Oh, okay. No, 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 Joe. Press run. There is no start button on the TGX. TGX. Oh, you see these guys flying? Oh, I'm a ghost. Oh, I'm a ghost. I didn't expect them to go flying like that. How come? Uh, how come their incorporeal bodies are affected by your baseball bat? I'm a. Uh, I'm like a. These are. These are like the ghost summoners in in Japanese mythology. Oh yeah. Motherfuck. Wait, the ghost summoners? Or ghost. Ghost. Like, uh, they're the thing. Yeah, okay. this is basically like the Japanese equivalent of an exorcist. I was gonna say. Why are these motherfuckers red now? Yeah, I know. They're not the same. I just a got a rice ball. ball. I feel like I should have multiple hit points now. I feel like you should eat rice balls during this. I wonder what the difference is between this, because this seems to shoo them away. Maybe yeah. this is better. Maybe it's better to shoo them away than to murder. Well, do they drop things if you shoo them away? Probably not. Mm, right? Probably not. When's the last time you shoot anybody away and they gave you something for it? This is probably like a Mass Effect type of game where your decisions really weigh heavily on the story, whether yeah. you shoo them away or kill them. So well, I think if you kill them, you're going uh, Renegade. Right? If you yeah. shoot them away, you're going Paragon. Correct. You're also, right about that. I am right about that. Yeah, yeah. See, he killed him and he gave you a rice ball, but it doesn't matter because one hit kills you anyway. Yeah. So I'm assuming that the rice ball is for score. Hmm. Okay, that red thing. It's a I feel like that's a power up. Oh. You you feel like that, but you might be wrong. Yeah, it is. Oh, yes. Red stuff now. Ch Motherfuck, those that, that bastards sucks. have a really awkward attack they're, um, pattern. Th they're, they're chess horses. That's what their attack pattern is. Right? They yeah, go kind of. up one over three, up one over three, up one over three, over and over and over. It's really annoying. So anyway, I like that campaign, Joe. I was really excited about it when you told me three dollars is not money. Yeah, it's not. That's it. Yeah, it really isn't. I've I've also I've donated three dollars to I've donated more than three dollars. Oh yeah. Podcasts and YouTube channels that I subscribe to and regularly consume. Yeah, and I mean especially the ones that don't have advertisements. Yeah, which and then we don't. That's something we purposely try to avoid, because screw them, you know? Yeah, we don't want to waste your guys' time. And also, we don't want to sell you bullshit. Yeah. Except, well, you know, Skittles. This episode is brought to you by Skittles. Well, of course. Buy Skittles. Yeah, and you know. Hudson. Don't forget Hudson Soft. Try the rainbow. Try the rainbow. <laughs> Whatever, it's fucking... Moderately Skittles. enjoy the rainbow. You know, no, no one should be eating Skittles, but I did have some no. Skittles. I had a fun-sized pack of Skittles earlier tonight. So you can tell why I'm so hyped up. Skittles. Brought okay. to you by the American Diabetes Association. Let's try another one. There we go. So Joe said he wanted to go for a more American type game because we've been playing a lot of Chinese games. <laughs> yeah. Chinese recently. So he switched over to this. I've never played Splatterhouse for the Turbo Graphics. No. Nor have for, I. I think it was for Genesis. It was either Splatterhouse 3 or 2 or maybe it was the first one. I, I don't know. I didn't know they made three of them. So do we have to press start here? No, it's just a very long intro. No. They're in, Joe, there is no start button. There is only run. I was not expecting this. I was yeah, it's a expecting it is. Yeah, I didn't realize that Splatterhouse was a side-scrolling. Uh, yep. What is it? Beat 'em up platform. Yeah. I think I might have played a different one than huh. this before, but it's similar. For some reason, I thought of what's the game on? Is it for NES? Smash TV. Can we I was over this? got those confused. So. Yeah, you sure can. Yeah, it's just a super violent '90s style. 90s style platformer. Is it super violent because those bats bleed a little bit? Yeah, there's a lot of blood. Oh. It's just kind of it's kind of famous for being bloody. There, there's like not that much blood though. Yeah, not not really. It's less than I remember. Did this come out before Mortal Kombat? Because I have a really hard time believing that this was controversial after Mortal Kombat. Right? It's around the same time. I'm not sure uh, if it was I'm not sure if it was before or after. I think it's before actually. I'm pretty sure it's before. Because those guys don't bleed. What are they? Those demons, they don't bleed at all. Kind of a cool effect that they go into the background. Oh, these are oh diff more difficult. Yes, they are. Whoa. And so, what are you? Why do you have a mask on? Who are you? Uh, the character's name is Rick. Really? Yes. Rick. Look Somehow at his butt. I remember that. Look at it. He has three butts there. Did you see that? He has three. Butts. Oh, I climbed up the ladder. Oh, okay. I'm oh. just going to the next area. Oh, look at that. That hanging demon. This oh. must be the boss room. Oh. oh. I have 
been, uh... Wow. I've been assaulted here. You got wrecked. You got wrecked. Rip. Yeah, you have five hearts. Ah, and they're represented by human hearts. Ah. Get out of here. Ah. I think that's the first... Is that the first time we ever plugged donating earlier? Maybe once or twice. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we've done it before. Yeah, we don't usually we have, do it. But we, ha we have never before done it with such a fervor. Is that the right yeah, word? We're for, trying to, with our campaign. We're trying to increase the, the audio quality, maybe. Yeah, we're basically this, just... Of this program here. We're trying to increase the overall quality of the program. Yeah, but the you audio, know. I think, has to come first. Yeah. I think that's the top priority right now. I mean, graphically, you can only do so much with, you know, older games. Is that uh, the last guy? No, that's the last one. The last one, one okay. just jumps out of that demon. But, yeah, I think it would make a big difference. Especially with the Xbox One controller being so clicky-clacky and stuff. Yeah. It's a really nice controller, but... It is a really nice controller, and it has improved our gameplay a little bit. Yeah. But also, our microphone rests on the desk, which also houses a lot of other things, and sometimes we accidentally touch, and turns out you can't touch this desk if you want to get a clean recording. Right. So, a boom stand, mic stand, that would be... That'd be nice. That'd be nice, but... We're not going to monetize our videos, because that's, you know... It's a waste of time, and it's... Yeah. Yeah, and we don't want to sell you bullshit, like we said earlier. Now, now, if we were getting a million views on each video, pff, hell yeah, we'd monetize. You kidding? We might no, we're not. We might advertise, but not with, uh, probably not with YouTube, though. Yeah, that's the thing. I would, I would advertise my own stuff. I wouldn't monetize, so, so, like, when you watch our videos, you see, come now to the Lexus dealership and get 20% off a new car with yeah, only 3.4% APR financing and only payments of $300 a month for 12 years. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, I would never, I don't that ever want to That makes me want to watch a channel less. You see that, yeah, literally. A anytime there's like some sort of intrusive commercial or or, or like in video game um, advertising, I I like that company less and less. I detest that company. Like some, some CAPTCHAs on the internet, you know, like those CAPTCHA where you have to enter a code so yeah. you can prove you're not a, you're not a robot. Some of those, for example, will do like, uh, like Bank of America, not, not Bank of America, um, some bank, I don't remember, some well-known bank. I'm never going to do business with them. Because, you know, it's sort of like, I don't know, I just, marketing often has the opposite effect on me when it's, re you know, when it's really inconvenient, which I, th I think is understandable, right? Yeah. Sort of see where I'm coming from. You know, like, if you make me watch a two-minute ad for Tide before I watch something on YouTube, I'm going to not buy Tide. So, I don't know. This is a creepy room. Oh, I've, di I've died. <laughs> you died, dude. <laughs> a candle landed on my dumb head. How, yeah. was, how was I going to know that was going to happen? This, how? This, is, this is the earthquake room. How Welcome to the mansion. This is my earthquake room. <laughs> how heavy is that candle? Well, if you duck, you don't bounce so oh. much. It's kind of a neat touch. Oh. The bottles just appear. Yeah, well, there's enough shit that can fall on you in this room, but they decide to just make bottles appear yeah, yeah. out of nowhere. Is this like uh, this room is possessed? The chair is possessed. Yeah, I guess. That's the scariest chair. This is chair. the boss. The boss is a chair. This is yeah, the first is. time I think I've ever played a game where the boss was a chair. I know, yeah. What is? It? What was that? Oh, it was a knife. And you can just punch it! You can just punch that knife. So if the knife hits me in the hand... You're fine. About to get stabbed? It's alright. You just punch that knife. Works in real life, too. Splatterhouse. As with all games on, <laughs> on the TurboGrafx series, I pick games based solely on the name. This one is called Yo Bro. <laughs> I love it. I from, really like the, hmm? everything about it so far. From any city? The, the title yeah, is it, all I've seen so far, so right. that's everything about it. Maybe there's nothing more. Oh. So you play as an old man I think with, it's a, a, <laughs> with a giant nose. I think it's a bear, a dude. Skateboard. It's a bear. It's a bear. It's Yogi Bear. Oh, it's bear. totally a bear. I you thought it was, it was an, an old, old man with a man. giant nose. Yeah, because look at out the back, out the back of his head. It looks like oh. his uh, hair. Yeah, like he's bald. No, guys, I swear I'm not a bear. I swear I'm just a really old man. Now come are here. You, are you playing the game yet? No. Or is this just oh. another title screen. Hey, it looks like what's that game for Genesis? Wally Bear and yep. the No Gang. That's the one. Yeah. You knew exactly what I was talking about. You knew exactly. Extra bro, every. Every we wanted uh, twenty. We wanted at the lowest yep. number. There we go. We 20, probably aren't going to get twenty thousand though. Twenty thousand. If we spend enough time to get twenty thousand on this game, then uh, I don't know what. It is two players. If you feel like playing Santa Cruz, I don't recommend it though. Yeah, you know, you just play this one. Yep. Just. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. That that took a dark. Yeah. That took a dark turn. Wow. Oh. Yeah. This looks terrible. Oh, it's an RPG. <laughs> you can do you can do tricks. <laughs> I fell. Oh wait, do I have limited ammo for the slingshot? I, uh, I, I think it's no. Infinite. I think you have infinite. Yeah. What was you that have a uh, slingshot times exclamation point exclamation point. Yeah. Slingshot. 
Wait, this then... really emulates Skate or Die, because Skate or Die had a little thing at the bottom, a little display at the bottom that would say like things like Righteous and Rad. Yo! Yo. It yo. never said Yo, though. No, because... Or Yo, bro. I've never heard anybody say Yo. Oh, the con it controls exactly like Skate or Die, which is to say it controls horribly. Yeah. It's... Maybe I should have played this one. Yeah. Why? Because you're an expert at... You oh. are. I've played a lot of Skate or Die. Oh. But no, you, you should just play Well, it. for those of you who don't know, Joe actually holds the world record for Skate or Die. For what? For the high jump? Yeah. I got, I've, I've gotten the highest jump in the high jump. Yep. Which and is 10 feet. Oh, I was going to say, now tell us how high that jump is. I was hoping you were going to say like a couple thousand or something. It's 10 feet. It's the highest jump. Uh, oh! I mean, 90,000 feet. 90... You heard him right. That many miles. That's a lot of miles. That's in outer space, bro. This is... What am I doing, anyway? Is there a point? Look at that guy. I don't know, you're finding muscle dogs with muscles and you're... Wow, you, you're I, a murderer now. I killed him, I'm a murderer. You deserve just, everything that that carnivorous like, plant does to you. Just like you. I'm a murderer now. So speaking of TurboGrafx-16, uh, Halo was Xbox's Fair. generic first-person shooter game. Halo? Yeah, the original Halo for the original Xbox. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Microsoft paid a bunch of, like, the cheapest companies they could find probably at the time, which Bungie was a cheap company at the time. Oh, and really? They, they paid a company to make a racing game, which was called Project Gotham Racing. I remember that game. And they wanted a party game, so they, they made Fusion Frenzy. I remember just that game. hired a bunch of small studios oh, to make no, these games. No. And Halo was supposed to be their, just their generic first-person shooter game. Really? Yep. And it blew up. And it blew up. It was the only good game for the Xbox for about three years. Wait, was there ever anything else? Tell me there was something else that was good. I can't think of anything. I can't either, so... <laughs> I mean, you said three years, I would go even farther than that. But, I don't what know, if, I didn't... Th there had to be some... Oh, uh, it's not a well-known game, but Gun Valkyrie was pretty amazing. Right... Oh, as far as exclusives go, though, yeah. I can't think of anything else. It, it didn't really have a huge exclusive library for a long time, because, you know... It had Nightcaster. Oh. That was their generic RPG Nightcaster. game. Nightcaster? Yeah, it was, uh, that was a bad huh. one. That was one of the worst of the worst. He looks like he's having a seizure on this skateboard. What was that? What's that black stuff? I'm... Oh. Alright. Here is a good game. Right? I think it's a good game. It's called Bonk's Adventure. It's by Hudson Soft and Atlas. <laughs> yeah. One of these companies is paying us billions of dollars. Guess which one in the comments below. And we'll send you some of our billions of dollars. We'll send you one billion. How about that? So this is basically tur the, the mascot of TurboGrafx-16. I think I may have played this game like at a store or something, at like a demo unit. Ooh. A very, very long time ago. But I barely remember. Is he is he killing those with his head? Yeah, yeah, that's that's his that's thing. His thing. Yeah, I remember I, like I might have just seen the ads for this though. It's kinda cute. It's kind of hmm. it's kinda very Japanese. It is a very ooh. Ooh. That flower is very Japanese. Yes, yeah, so this is kind of their answer to Super Mario for for NES and Sonic the Hedgehog for Genesis. Like, Genesis had Sonic the Hedgehog. I think this was before Sonic, though. Oh, I was gonna this say, is kind of their mascot character. I was going to say, whew, move over, Sonic. Hudson Soft. <laughs> Hudson Soft's taking over. That's a lot of volcanoes in the background. They're all overflowing with lava or magma. I'm really scared of these what was plants. That? They look so friendly, but Jump what do up. they do? Jump up for a second. What is that? <laughs> it's the moon. That's the moon. <laughs> it's moving at a it's moving at a rapid pace, very close to us. This game is Majora's Mask. Yeah, uh, now I know where that game's inspiration came from. Cubone, down. <laughs> you look at him; he's a cubone. And that's uh, I don't know. Are there any alligator Pokemon? For alligator, that's for alligator. That's a bell sprout. For alligator. All right. So this is just the. It looks like pretty run-of-the-mill platforming. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, the control is decent. Yeah. The, the acceleration is a little bit slow. It looks a little bit slow. Yeah. Your, just your overall run speed doesn't look very fluid. It looks kind of slow. No. That's a Marowak. Right there. So this is going to be the ice level next? No, it's more oh. volcanoes. More volcanoes. Cue bam bam bam. Cue! So the... So it's been snowing a lot. <laughs> oh my god! That was unexpected. <laughs> okay. For anybody watching, <laughs> have you ever seen Lord of the Rings, the, the the first film, when when they're in Rivendell, and Bilbo sees the ring again after months and months? Yeah, that's basically the face he makes. And he freaks out, and it's really scary. That's yeah, that's kind of what it reminds me of that face. That was terrifying. 
Did you see how many teeth he had? Yeah, that would that would frighten a small child. Yeah, that would frighten a grown man, like me. Oh my so god! So he goes nuts when he gets the meat. So he this sure has got to be invincibility. He yeah. sure does. Oh look, he moves fast now. We need to get these smiley faces. Oh god, look at that acceleration. I and mean, they couldn't do coins. They didn't want to do rings. Yeah. So uh, smiley faces. Oh, and now you're burnt. Hmm. Interesting. Mr. Burns. Yeah, are you just stuck like that? You have like a scar on my head or something? That's kind of messed up. Well, what the fuck? Whoa. Did you see that design there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> they didn't try and ease us Look, into that here, one. Here it comes again. Yeah, they really didn't give you a second to try to get used to it. Game design. How could they have eased us oh. into that one? Come up with a well, solution. You really can't. No, I'm just no, they kidding. Made the, they could have made that taller. They could have just made that tall. Yeah. Made, made that uh, brown thing that sinks, that brown piece of terrain that sinks yeah. into the lava taller and then you would you would just jump off of it instinctively and right then, then you would see that there was lava under it they could also you've safely passed yeah they could also oh that face they could also have just made another copy of that platform before the lava so when you fall you just land on grass oh, okay so these <gasps> make you jump ah. all that time i was scared of them and they just make you jump. they don't hurt you at all well that's why they're smiling you see marrow we, we do have an air attack which i didn't know about before we do you might get a concussion with that. So yeah, it's been snowing a lot here lately. Yeah, that it has. And I, you know, you, you can never find like a precipitation chart, like a snowfall chart. You oh, know, I that, hate that it. tells you how how many inches it's going to be. Yeah. You can always find the the temperature and when it's going to snow and how long it's going to snow, but you can never find how many inches are there going to be on the ground. Am I going to need to get out the old shovel? Am I going to be able to drive in a few hours? Because you know what happens when it starts snowing around here. I just get in my car and I start driving. <laughs> you just always. Yeah. No matter what. No matter where I am. Oh! Oh! Can we jump on their heads? No, oh. I think we actually have to attack you can. this guy. Didn't you just do that? Yeah. Look yeah, at that you, baseball yeah, you cap. gotta press the attack button. Wait, this was a dinosaur. Hmm. I just realized. He's wearing a baseball cap. I guess it's not a baseball cap, it's just a regular cap. Right? Now what? You just... Huh? Wake him up. Wake Trying him up climb inside. The wall. Wake him up inside. And outside. Oh, look at that. Hmm. That's a Joe and Max style dinosaur. That kind of makes sense. It does? That makes sense? Oh, do you mean wake him was, up? I thought this was lava, but I guess it's not lava because it's, it's inside of a... It's stomach acid. Yeah. So this is like that, that level in uh, Gears of War 2, I think. Is it? Where you go inside of that big monster. Okay, so his, his stomach acid does not hurt you, but his uvula... Scratch that. His many uvula will all hurt you. Yes. Also, there are, are skeleton fish swimming around in his stomach acid. The control in this game is better than than oh. uh, Forward to the Sky, which is a game we recently played. Yeah. And you know, I think this game came out maybe a year or two before Forward to the Sky. So maybe, you know, it has a leg up. I don't know. I feel like Forward to the Sky, I should have, I have higher expectations of that game. You know? I mean, this doesn't look like it controls particularly well. Oh, he's gonna make the face again. That's really weird. You really have to mash that button. Yeah, it looks to climb. Why, why isn't it just like sort of a a, a wall jump type thing? Hmm. Why do you have to mash it? Can I you don't climb? Think we can get in there. Can you just hold the up on the D-pad or something? I don't think so. That looks, looks really awkward. Shit. Oh, wait, you have three hearts now again. No, they're they're blue now though, so I'm they're empty. perished. Yeah. Blue means perished. Yeah, blue means dead. Come back. Oh, I press start. Hey, yeah, we're oh, back. That's cool. You what just respawn fuck? where you died. That's pretty sweet. Oh. The, the swimming control is not not very good. What's up with that? Yeah. Wait, is the blue is the blue supposed to be black when you're not in stop? Oh my god, that hurts my eyes to look at. Try looking at something else right now for a second. Oh, That's it's very... It's oh, everything is green. Extremely red, and now everything is green. How do we get through here? I guess I'll wait for this uvula to go... You can't head smash, can you? Oh. Oh, you can. You, you can. can head smash from the bottom. How are you okay. going to head smash this guy, though? I'm not. What do you, oh, you just did something. Mm, that, that didn't work. Foaming at the mouth. This has got to be death. No, it's not. Do we have infinite lives or something? No, you actually had two down in the corner there, but they're both gone, so I'm guessing this is your last one. Oh, I see. His many uvula. How? The dinosaur. Oh my god, that green. NVIDIA, man. Okay, so NVIDIA has this setting called um, oh, sweet. digital vibrance, right? And it makes so all was that the was that the uh, the butthole up here, right there? Yeah, that was. Yeah, look, see, this is the end of his tail. Oh my God, you're right. Yep, you're right. 
and there's an elevator. He's well, might as well take it. I mean, it doesn't look dangerous at all. <laughs> no, no, no. It's no. just uh, the skull of a dinosaur in a spinal column. What's it powered by, I wonder? Dino oh. Dinosaur juice. Dinosaur Million juice. year old dinosaur juice. Dinosaur and plants. Also called oil or gasoline, right? That's dinosaur juice. Isn't that messed up? Well, this guy's gonna get the best of me. He sure is. Now he wants the rest of you. Isn't that a song by like Foo Fighters or something? Hmm. Not sure. Not sure? I mean, I know Foo Fighters is your favorite band, right? I'm more of a fan of uh, the Stone. The Stone Temple Pilots. Oh, yeah? I never listened to them. No, not really. Oh, Bubbles hurt you. So Stomach Acid will not hurt you. I was just trying to think of more of those 90s bands that are that are pretty boring. Uh, Nirvana? I was just... Okay, not the boring part. I was just thinking of 90s bands. I don't want to get any, on anybody's bad side. I do. We hate all of the bands from the 90s. All of them? Yeah. I, I like some bands from the 90s. Wait. So what are you going to do? Jump No, I don't. How are we gonna kill Can this you, guy? Can uh, you smack those bubbles? Try to Zelda style. Nope. Nah. Wait, that one just passed harmlessly sure through. Sure did. Oh. Oh, there we go. Just hit his head. The flashing part. Oh, I see. I gotta keep oh pressing B in the air, though. Oh, this is awkward. This he's... is a little more awkward to control than it looks. Yeah, it looks Trust like he's, he's gonna oh, stunlock stun you. Yeah. You're stunlocked to death. Bonk. Rick, we hardly knew you. Stunlocked to death. Okay. I think I get it now. Why is it cracking? Is that like a. Is it an, an egg? An eggshell? Yeah. <laughs> you said that so matter we so matter of factly. Well, it looks really naked now. This is yeah, almost does. pornographic. He's also not evil anymore. I'm kind of getting offended. Yeah, I feel I'm... a lot better <laughs> after after we smashed our skulls together. Yeah, really. I'm your new friend. Oh, cool. He has messed up teeth too. So he's like a dog type of fella, I guess. So do we get to ride him? Well, those just had some vampire teeth in them. <laughs> really? Yeah, they, they flashed like they had some vampire teeth. Mind blowing. Maybe that's my rating? Begin two rounds. Two round! Well, this game's pretty exciting. How many how many other games do you know that the second level is the desert level? Because I'm thinking of Super Mario Bros. 2 right now. Oh, what a dork. That's true. Look, look at, at this dork. Look at this, this dork glasses dino. wearing dino. Yeah, really. Huh. Games where the second level is the desert. That's a really good question. Whoa. Okay, you get you get a little bit locked after you do this move. So you can't move yeah. for a second there. Long recovery there. Yeah, recovery. That's the word I was looking for. What about um, Mad Max? Because the entire game is a desert, right? Maybe? What, Mad, Mad Max game? Oh, yeah. Was there a Mad Max game? Yeah, it just came out uh, a couple months ago. Uh, I don't know. If you can think of a game where the second level is the desert, let us know, and we'll play it. For free! For free! But really, three dollars is not money. Alright, you're doing good. Are those onions? Or garlic cloves? They yeah. look like garlic cloves. Oh cool, I'm gonna go nuts now. Yeah! That was a smaller piece of meat though, so... Oh, it turns you into something different. Oh. Oh, cool. When I hit the ground, it stuns these guys. I don't that think I had that cool. ability before. No, I definitely didn't. Nice. Nice. You sure are angry about it, though. Oh, look at that. A really, really another tiny one? one. Oh, oh, now I'm invincible. Okay, neat. You can also can... increase your run speed a little bit. Yeah, oh, but these you... don't die, though. Oh. We can go into these buildings. Oh, that wasn't a building. Bonus, Bonus round. round head but the hot rocks. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Let's headbutt these hot rocks. Nothing could go wrong. Oh. Oh, they came faster than I expected. Boom. Okay, so they, they're they all going to go this way. We don't really yeah. scroll here. No. I think I can only hit one at a time. Yeah, I was just thinking Maybe that. Maybe I can hit two. It looks like it's hard. I guess you could hit two of them in one round, but then the next round, you really can't. Yeah, the acceleration is really slow. It, is there there's got is there a run button? Mm, no. There's only two buttons Correct. on the controller, so... I've tried toward toward and I've tried holding the attack button. What, the B button is the attack button, I'm, I'm guessing? Yeah. A is jump. Yeah, that sucks. Um, there's no way to run. I, maybe it has support for six button controllers? I don't know. No, I don't think so. This is one of the earlier Turbo Graphics games. Oh. So I don't think so. No, we're still <laughs> invincible when we oh, come out of there. Oh, Got those cactus. Forgot. Cacti or cactuses. The sense of progression here has been ruined. Yeah, I know. Ruined? Yeah, ruined. 
ruined. Look at that moon, man. It's right there. Reach out and touch. Can we drop? No, we can't drop through the floor here. Oh! Oh my god. Yeah, the acceleration's so slow. I think I probably should have got a running start there. Whoa. Is this game, uh... Has this game been well-received? Yeah. It's one of the only games that, I, that I'm that well aware of for the... For the turbo graphics. And we can't go in this one. That one that one that we could go in must have been a secret then. Yeah, I think so. I guess we just guessed correctly on the first try. You're you're a pretty smart boy. Yeah, it's I would say that it was a, a direct measure of my intelligence. I agree. I agree. I don't think an IQ test is necessary. We can hit these guys from underneath, yeah. which is really nice. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So like our head is a weapon. Every other part of our body is not exactly a weapon. Here. Right, right. Oh, we can go in this one, too. Intelli Start. My intelligence has really increased. It sure has. Jump off the cliff! <laughs> yeah. Are you sure your intelligence has increased? I, I love these instructions. Yeah. Land on your feet. Okay, I mean, it doesn't sound hard. Ready? Mm -hmm. I guess I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. You just told me to jump off a cliff and spin. Land on my feet to win. Uh, oh, spins, too. You oh. have to do as many spins as you can. Well, two seems pretty good. I would say that was a measure of my intelligence. Yeah, I mean, you can't even do that in real life. I can't do that in real life. So, I mean, you're certainly more intelligent than me, then, as right. a result. So would you say I'm one of the more intelligent uh, members of uh, Game Soup? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I would agree. Um, of course, this is, this is post-Molly, of course. When Molly was here... She was by far and away the most intelligent member of the crew. Rest in peace. Rest in pizza. Yeah, we did bury her with uh, her favorite pizza. several slices of pizza. Her favorite pizza, Papa John's. <laughs> oh boy. I, I don't know. You know, I, I could have exchanged Papa John's for like any national brand in it. It would have had the same effect. Her favorite pizza, Domino's. That's even worse. Because whose favorite pizza is Domino's? Yeah, which one is funnier? Post in the comments below which pizza brand do you think is the funniest. I think, well, actually, I think DiGiorno is the funniest, but, you know, that's pizza not delivery. Hut. It's not delivery. Pizza Hut's pretty funny. Pizza Hut's pretty funny. Are they still in business? They are, aren't yep. they? Yep. I don't think I've had a Pizza Hut. It's probably been several decades. Yo, we should go to Pizza Hut. Joe, let's go to Pizza Hut. Do you agree? Uh, no. Come on, I used to go there all the time when I was a kid. Let's go. Oh, 